Hi everyone, Hannah here, welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome, my name is Hannah. Today I'm going to be showing you a Lord of the Rings lounge fly. But first, my little mermaid denim jacket has arrived from Shop Disney. Now before I quickly show it, I'm going to check if there is a price on the... There's not a price on the tag. They don't always put prices on the tags anymore. I want to say it was around £50, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to start with the front actually, although you've probably just seen a glimpse of the back. Because the back is where the fun is, similar to Spirit Jersey. The back on this denim jacket is stunning. Now, it didn't come with a coat hanger, but I've put it on this hanger just to make it easier to show. So this is the front. It's so beautiful. I ordered a small. Now, what I've noticed is it seems a little bit cropped, just a tiny bit cropped. Whereas, like, a spirit jersey is quite long. This one seems shorter than other jumpers, so just bear that in mind. But I am obsessed. Front pocket up top. Actually, it's not a pocket. Oh no, it's a vape pocket. Okay. Or is it? Because there's a lining of a pocket in the back there. Oh, maybe they've just stitched it. Because it has the lining of a pocket. So maybe they've just stitched that part. I'll have to have a proper look. But it has Sebastian up top on there. And he's kind of printed on. This jacket seems to have a mixture of printed on detail and stitched on detail. For example, some of these flowers, like this flower just here next to this pocket, which is a pocket, that is embroidered in, just like this pink part, whereas the other bits here are kind of printed on. So there is a mixture between the two. Show that part. And over this side, by this pocket, oh, if I move this on top, we have the trident. That is also embroidered on as well. And it, I'm pretty sure that looks like an actual gold thread. Probably not real gold gold, but like a gold thread just there. So another mix of embroidered in and kind of just patched on. I love the back. So the top it says ready to stand with an embroidered flower. I'm going to see if I can, there we go. Just show that part first. So ready to stand with a beautiful little embroidered flower just there. The rest of the back is aerial with flounder. Look at this. It's beautiful. You've got aerial there. They are both printed on as well. There's no stitching on aerial or flounder, but there is stitching on some of these plants just down below. And some bubbles, because you gotta love bubbles. I am just obsessed with this film. When is it gonna be on Disney Plus so that I can just binge watch it again and again and again? Anybody know? Let me know. Not a clue. But I'm obsessed with it. Imagine this jacket, the live action backpack, just the perfect outfit. I have, now I say I have, I have some leggings that are, they were from Shop Disney quite a while ago actually, they were years ago. I don't even remember when they came out, but they're like mermaid scale leggings and it starts at purple at the top and kind of ombres down to a green. And they've got like the scale detail that goes all the way like that. That would be perfect with this. I say that, I have a feeling those leggings are now too small for me. I know where they are. I'm pretty sure they're under the bed with a couple other things that are too small for me now. So I might have to go have a try on. But that would be like the perfect outfit. So, finally arrived and absolutely love it. So I'm going to kind of show up top. But yeah, mine didn't come with a hanger. I don't know if they're supposed to, but I have a few spare hangers about and I figured it's much easier to show you with it being on a hanger. Hence the little mermaid outfit. Kind of. I don't think this is an actual mermaid spirit jersey. It just has the same sort of colours. And then the ears. Lounge fly, however. Oh, I bung that there. I have worn my Arwen necklace because I have put it in a little protective bag to keep it safe. This is not my lounge fly. I have borrowed this from my mother. We both love Lord of the Rings. And as soon as she saw this one, because when it, it was Truffle Shuffle that released it, it was a good, well, it must have been over a month ago now. So I sent her a picture and I was like, I think you might like this one. And straight away she said, please get it for me. Like she obviously sent me the money. She was like, please get it for me. Please, I need that backpack. Look at this. It's like the tree of Gondor, the king of Gondor. And it's stunning. The material is like a suede. 
it very much reminds me of and feels the same or pretty similar to if you have i'm just going to move this zip the obi-wan kenobi cosplay backpack which i have up there it feels like that sort of suede material so i'd say try not to get it wet or be very careful if you get it wet because i don't know how that would fare all of this detail like the tree of minas tirith and the crown and the stars that's embroidered in and it's like quite a silvery what silver silvery this is silver stitching and it's stunning and then you've got this gold trim going around the outside just look at the detail on this i'm not 100 percent sure if this is taller than others i have one sec the mulan sequin now she is in a bag but i like to keep them in bags if they're not on the shelf just to keep them safe is it a bit taller oh i think it is sorry if you can't see that very well through the bag i'm pretty sure this one is a bit taller yeah. and you can see like Mul mulan has a front pocket this one doesn't have a front pocket but similar to the live action little mermaid one when they don't have a front pocket you can have just that full full frontal should i say that design and it's not obstructed anywhere beautiful love it the sides do have embroidered detail but then they also have kind of like printed on detail on the side pockets so you've got that side there and it is the same on this side as well and the badge says the lord of the rings the return of the king and lounge fly they did oh how many have they done of these now i'm pretty sure truffle shuffle had three three <laughs> lord of the rings lounge fly there was this one there was a rohirrim one which was like a green color try and remember to pop a picture up and i believe there was also a balrog one pretty sure if that's gone wrong i'll pop pictures up of what they actually are just to show you anyway so that's the front and the sides the back i'm going to show the back like this first and then the straps so the back is nice and plain and it's that same kind of dark blue color to it and the bottom yoink, is also the same with that gold trim look at the straps on this now she has used it and i'll get to that in a second look at the strap detail at the same time as it being basic it's also very fancy because the zip pullers i'll bring this one around here this zip puller is just the normal standard lounge fly zip puller this one however matchy matchy necklace it's the star look at that it's so beautiful it's so pretty it does only have that design on the one side so you probably have to kind of keep the zips in the middle now the special thing about this one is we went to telford comic-con i can't even remember was that around the 13th of may that was a while ago now and we met sean astin me and mum met Sean Astin and we got him to hold the lounge fly so he held it and then obviously we had our hands on his shoulders that was amazing he loved this backpack by the way and when we were walking past because there was like a separate I'm doing this because it was there when we were looking like a separate upwards walkway for all the celebrities to get to and from where they were signing to the photo ops so someone was walking up top and mum said well who's that and I said that's Salah Baker who voiced Sauron in the Lord of the Rings and she went can we meet him well at first she didn't believe me she was like that's not sauron i went well he obviously wears a mask in the film you don't see his face that's sauron so she said do you think he'll sign the lounge fly so i said he'll sign whatever you want within reason of course i know i've told this story before if you've seen my videos before just in case you haven't bit of backstory so we walked up to him and she said would you mind signing the lounge fly and he had a gold sharpie because we figured there's that beautiful silver detail but because of this gold trim it would just look better i'm going to move the zips so they're out of the way a little bit actually I'm just put them put them down this side so he signed it salah baker sauron and he then put i see you which obviously is what sauron says right on the front there look at that you are not going to get any better than that i love the way that he put i see you as well is that showing up i hope it is and it's just beautiful we're looking into so if anyone's got any suggestions please let me know of some sort of like suede protector spray just to spray on there to keep that from rubbing off obviously it's dry now but just to make sure it stays as long as it can how nice is that we were going to meet bernard hill who played theoden but he had to cancel for the sunday and i'm pretty sure he's already confirmed 
this year's Telford Comic Con, as in, like, I think it's November. So we might get Bernard Hill to sign. The line for Sean Astin, who played Samwise Gamgee, was just too long the entire day, otherwise we would have got him to sign it as well. But I feel like this is going to turn into, like, a sign Lord of the Rings lounge fly, because you've got so much room on the back. But we'll have a look at the inner lining. So I do have to give this lounge fly back. But it's, I feel like it's a really special one. To the point where... Now, Mum got rid of all of her inner packaging, so I've had to salvage some of mine. Because it doesn't keep its shape the best. Also, this one does have an inner pocket as well. She has an inner pocket. With a zip. It's kind of... Oh, oh there we go. That's my fault. I would love to meet either Jodie Benson or Halle Bailey. Or both. Who, obviously, Halle Bailey was the live-action Little Mermaid. Jodie Benson voiced the animated Little Mermaid, Ariel and have them sign my lounge fly. Obviously I would ask Callie to sign the live action one. I'm not sure who I would ask Jodie Benson to sign because I've got a couple different ones. But it's making me think now, if I can get to a Comic Con that has Disney characters, I can get them to start signing lounge fly for me. Instead of just like a picture, they can sign a lounge fly for me. That's my thought process anyway. So the inner lining for this one, the colour, it's like the same kind of dark blue sort of colour and it has, it's got like the, like a diamond, a rotated square, a diamond and it kind of has some of the stars, it has the tree of Minas Tirith and then it also has the crown all on the inside and they're just like a white design. Is there anything else? No, it's just those in there. You can see that with that beautiful zip in a pocket because you gotta love it when it has a zip in a pocket there we go let me know if you have ever met a disney celebrity or any celebrity actually and got them to sign something other than like they all have photos on their table of like different roles they've been in them and then maybe like a generic one of just their face not specific to a role but let me know if you've ever had anything signed by anybody that's like an item, not a picture. So I realised I didn't do a proper 360 of this one. So I'll do a quick 360. Because it is beautiful. And it is very tall as well. It's definitely taller than the others. And then obviously because it doesn't have that front pocket, it's a bit thinner. But it means it has that beautiful front design. So I love them. And you can see kind of how easy it squishes. So I do put the packaging back inside them just so it holds their shapes. I also, I might need to give mum some of these as well. I have, I don't know if I've got any, no I've not got any to hand. I use like a thick material cable tie and it just keeps the straps nice because, I mean it's personal preference, I prefer them to be nice and tight like that compared to just down, but I will link those down below. Thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!